money to whoever can pronounce that. <laughs> Uh, currently here in Sleepy Hollow, New York. Uh, I tell you what, we actually we came here a few days ago. It was absolutely packed. Uh, I was actually going to do some filming, but basically last second kind of caught me because they actually just closed the gate when I got here. This is I first got here early on, so um, it really it really sucked. So all the content I was trying to get did not get. It's frustrating, but this is. This is one of these places where I think you would have to come to. Um, you know, I get a lot of questions, why do you go to Sleepy Hollow if there's not a whole lot to do? Uh, for those of you guys who don't know about Sleepy Hollow, they actually were, I think they're originally, na originally named like North Terrytown. So they actually kind of inherited the legend of Sleepy Hollow as the story. And they just kind of embraced this about mid, I think 96 if I'm right, they actually switched their name from Terrytown to Sleepy Hollow, and they've started to really kind of hone in on the whole Halloween thing, and it's it's really great. There's a big reason why I tell a lot of people to come here. There's I've been in a lot of places overseas. I've been a lot of other places. Ooh, there goes an airplane. Been a lot of places overseas and, and whatnot, but I'm telling you, this is one of those places where when you come, when you come here, there's just like a an aura about this place. There's like you can feel that sense of history here. And it's so, it, I can't describe it to you. It's so difficult to even try to explain it. But we are here at Old Dutch Church. As you guys can see, one of the oldest churches here in all of uh, the Northeast. I want you guys to show you around a little bit when it comes down to Sleepy Hollow, what, it, what it's kind of what makes it amazing. Um, there's a lot of places, a lot of things I didn't get to show you guys last year. So I really want to be able to show you guys some of this stuff and, and make it count this year if you guys kind of see this that sun right here um, essentially what it means is like people put down you know money or pumpkins or whatever as almost a sign of respect for the afterlife and uh, the one thing that's really cool about this place is just how much like how many Revolutionary War soldiers are here So, Holda Bohemia died 1777, herbalist, healer, patriot, fell to the British while protecting the militia buried here in gratitude for her sacrifice. So the beauty of um, Legend of Sleepy Hollow. It, it's kind of an old wives' tale a lot. I think some people actually equate it to an old German wives' tale. Basically, it's kind of an old folk tale of an old German or Hessian soldier who belonged to the English or the British Army. And basically, it just shows him terrorizing a local man by the name of Ichabod Crane. And essentially, um, you find out through the story that you know a legend kind of comes to life. He finds out when he moves here um, to the Hudson Valley that it's actually true. So it's actually a really good story. Actually, uh, Walt Disney really loved it. Did a lot of little, um, actually did a couple cartoons on it. And it was pretty amazing. This is kind of one of those stories that just really kind of stand the test of time. You guys a little bit of history of uh, Washington Irving the story kind of came to life here some people say that he kind of took it from old Germans uh, kind of old German folktale which I don't know if that's true or not but it's very similar can't tell you which one it is because I don't even <laughs> I don't think I can even pronounce it long story short uh, Washington Irving actually lived in New York City and what ended up happening was he ended up leaving from there 
over to uh, Sleepy Hollow because he kind of want to get away from the city. He want to be kind of mentally recharged. When he comes out here, he realizes the peacefulness, the sanctity. He's like, you know what? I like this place. And so he decides to stay. Bard writes a wonderful story. The next thing you know, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow comes out of it. Now, I think he writes about two short stories and they actually become very, very popular. And so because of that, he actually lives pretty comfortably. <laughs> Guys are planning to yell at me, but yes, I'm wearing my mask. Usually if I see somebody that's near me, I'll just put my mask up. So don't yell at me. I get it. Currently trying to find Andrew Carnegie, the one who they named Carnegie Hall after, and then William Rockefeller is also on this. Um, it's probably the furthest that we've been back, and in the cemetery. So definitely trying to see some of these ones I have not seen before. Cause some of these are just insane. Gotta be. You guys can see that big <laughs> mausoleum. That's actually William Rockefeller's uh, big business magnate. A lot of money in this area. He's number one here. Uh, a little bit further down is Carnegie. We have him. Okay, and I'm getting lost. And then on the back, back, back end of this cemetery is. Um, William Chrysler, who founded Chrysler Cars. So, gotta go find that real quick. <laughs> this place looks like a giant apartment building because look at all these, these are all mausoleums, tombs. Finally found it. William Chrysler, founder of Chrysler Motors. There you go. Oof. Creepy. The headless horseman goes across. No. <laughs> We're actually about to head to. It's like a replica version of what the infamous Sleepy Hollow Bridge, basically what it looked like back in the day. Um, if you guys are ever here, you guys will cross kind of like a huge concrete bridge. That is, that's where the original place was, but it's not the original bridge. This is kind of recreation down here of what it looked like, because obviously it's made of wood and it's not gonna last. Currently here at Phillipsburg Manor here in Sleepy Hollow. It's like, for those of you guys who don't know, Phillipsburg is kind of like a recreation of what Sleepy Hollow looked like back in 1600s. Uh, kind of, in, obviously everything's closed now because of COVID. COVID kind of shut everything down, but uh, they usually have a lot of different events, like I said. I've been trying to go here for like the past two years and I've always missed out. Uh, tickets are always sold out, it just sucks. You can see Phillipsburg Manor is right here. It kind of shows like the everyday life. It's open, it shows like how they got water, how they, you know, got their food, how they clean their clothes, you name it. Um, it's kind of a complete re reenactment of it, but it just, 
it's really great here because what they do is they kind of show you exactly like what they did how they did things what was their purpose it was just great so a lot of different events were actually canceled this year so you got this kick cut which is a rockefeller stay actually i went i walked around a little bit show you guys some of that video footage but other than that um halloween is actually starting to kind of become pretty big here in sleepy hollow it's just taking a little bit of time but slowly they're getting to it uh give it another 20 years i think it's gonna be just as big as salem but it's it's such a great time to be here if you guys have any make sure you guys like and subscribe and always comment let me know if you guys like this stuff and enjoy your halloween